on to Madden NFL 21. Now, we have kept your saved options from last year's game. You can change these options and accessibility settings right here and now, or you can change them at any later time from the game settings. Accessibility settings. Accessibility. The yard brings all new gameplay for you to tackle solo or with friends. So here's what you do. You create and customize your character, and then you go all out on fields across the globe as you take on dynamic challenges in Madden's newest mode. Start your journey in high school and make your way to stardom as an NFL quarterback, running back, or wide receiver. Face of the franchise in Madden NFL 21 features new colleges and more choices to take control of your fate and shape your story. Customize your character from head to toe with a variety of jerseys, accessories, and more. And then keep an eye out as we drop new gear throughout the year. And also connect your Madden NFL mobile account to use your cosmetics both in-game and on mobile. Level up your new Madden rank when you complete objectives across the game or in Madden NFL Mobile. And as you build your rep, you'll unlock new gear for your character and earn cred to spend as well. Now be sure to check back in each day for new challenges. The good news, you have even more control this year of your players on both sides of the ball. On offense, you can chain together evasive moves on the skill stick to gain space from defenders. And on defense, you have new right stick pass rush moves, adding more strategy to the battle in the trenches. NFL stars stand out and make an impact with superstar X Factor abilities. This is really cool. Enhance your gameplay with exclusive skills like Lamar Jackson's new X Factor Truss, bringing unique experiences every. Today, from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. Baltimore Ravens taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the inner harbor of Baltimore. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Kansas City Chiefs.
Harrison Bunker set to get us started. It's two AFC powerhouses, the Chiefs and Ravens, underway in Baltimore. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. We've had dual threat quarterbacks in the NFL in the past, and we've had some really good ones but I don't know if we've had one quite like Lamar Jackson. Led the league in touchdown pass with 36 last season. Set the all-time record for rushing yards in a single season for a quarterback at over 1,200 yards. And he led his Baltimore Ravens to a 14-2 regular season mark. Best in the NFL. The sky is the limit for Lamar Jackson. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, first running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football in the backfield, to be able to get him in the second round? That's what I call a steal. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The last run got six, now second and four. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. J.K. Dobbins, the one he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Jackson from the shotgun. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson on target to Brown for a Ravens first down. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? First and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 36. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. They'll be brought down on the 30 yard line after a gain of six. Anthony hits a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four at the Chiefs 30 yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, Jackson. And this one caught by Des Bryant. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Jackson gonna run. 
And some space here. And all the way down inside the five of the four. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Dobbins, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. They gotta love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've gotta go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Justin Tucker for the extra point. lead at 7-0. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. This will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Chiefs offense coming out here and bringing them onto the field. The most valuable player of last year's Super Bowl, and that's Patrick Mahomes. Well, partner, normally if a guy's touchdown passes fall in half, the first thing you'd say is, he really didn't have a very good season, did he? Well, it's true. Mahomes dropped from 50 touchdown passes the year before to just 26 last year. But remember, he had a knee injury and missed a few ball games, and he still remained in the conversation as the best quarterback in the NFL. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Le'Veon Bell. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And the first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. First down, Mahomes toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 41-yard line. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. 
And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. They fake the give. Now Mahomes going to throw deep for the end zone, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Dancing to his left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Defense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run it with Bell. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. I know every time we watch Le'Veon Bell play, we think about him making people miss the hesitation move. But you remember, he came out of Michigan State as a bruiser and a thumper, and he still has those capabilities. At 225 pounds, an underrated part of his game. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell able to make it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run.
Harrison. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On the option, Jackson will keep it. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the gun, it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Just the first quarter of the tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all off season about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been a different been a story. Long night. On first down, Dobbins had a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Damian Wilson in on the stop. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And this one incomplete. Jackson's Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Failure to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun. Jackson. He can run for it, and he will. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. 
Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Brought in left side by Sneed. Complete Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. Ravens 10, Chiefs 7. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. I'm not sitting down with my counter and said I got this news like a bad news. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Patrick Linebacker Queen. Patrick Queen bringing him down. It's a pick up Not the three. kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top-rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner. And he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big-time run. And the production that he showed us in college is translating very well into the National Football League. Mahomes now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Bell. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Was it his primary target? Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his move. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Like a freight train off the edge, Calais Campbell with a sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to
to attack a screen. Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz call and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he powers his way up past the 30. Ball carrier. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. That's the end of the first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. got four now they deal with a second and six Jackson fakes the give and keeps it they'll get five out of the keeper but now it's third down but that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football it's not a huge game but it shows how hard it can be to stop it yeah I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained and in fact they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did then they looked up and realized he's still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. On third and short, they'll try option left. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. It's fourth down. Cole Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. 
at their and own. And now here comes Kansas run. City. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. He'll give this to Bell. And he'll push forward for about Number four six, up to the 23. Bell, the ball carrier. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On second down, it's Bell. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed a maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Three yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. With the football back over to Baltimore and J.K. Dobbins. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at about the 32. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the gun, Jackson. He gets this underneath to Dobbins, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They'll run on first down. Dobbins, and a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Ben Neiman on the tackle. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight, Jackson, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Jackson. And the Chiefs are going to get him. 
Lamar Jackson sacked. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, those so far in this game. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Maybe on Bell, the ball carry. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine now from the 21. Mahomes now to throw. Gets this one to Hill. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there, first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On second down, here's the option. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Matt Judon there to bring him down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there at a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Being chased out left. He'll try and run it. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On 
first and ten. Here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Mahomes. Back. Not much there, only a yard. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield, or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Flushed out right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. The Chiefs on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8. Now here's Mahomes. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. Marlon Humphrey on the coverage. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And that will knot us up at 10. Ties the game at 10. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they gonna recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Harrison, but all level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Takes this about five yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive will start with an option going left. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people were worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And here's Jackson on the option. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Jones on the no snow. gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Brings up third down. Another nice play there by Chris Jones, a pro bowler for the first time in 2020. A five-year man out of Mississippi State. I would dare say plenty more pro bowls for him coming up. On third down, Jackson out to his left. 
He may try and run for this. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Baltimore. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson, and hopefully you can hem him in. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Caught by Snead over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first half completion. At the Chiefs' 38-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The Ravens on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, partner, what do you think? It might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the option is Jackson. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 34 yards. And the Ravens have broken the tie. Well, Lamar Jackson remembers seven rushing touchdowns in his MVP season of 2019, and he's into the end zone here as well. And when you hear that seven rushing touchdowns in 2019, doesn't it surprise you a little bit? Yeah, you almost expect more, right? Yeah, in your mind, you're thinking Lamar Jackson getting the end zone a bunch more. That might be what he does in 2020. Now Tucker to add the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. And Le'Veon Bell making his way back out onto the field now. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here.
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. Now the Ravens gonna use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. First down now, but that clock rolling. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Mahomes used to moving quickly in college, trying to get his guys to the line. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Mahomes to throw once more. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 22-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. now on first down. This is complete to Watkins on a slam. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. The quick slant caught. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Butker now to add the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Harrison 17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26-yard line. 
And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. And that is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only gonna fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not gonna be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Jackson looking to throw on third. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. And next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Jackson, eluding the pressure right. And he's gonna keep it here. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have the... Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Make a play just like a quarterback. We ain't worrying about no farmers, we ain't staying there. Running out the block, we all something like a lineback. I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Hey, yeah, I'm an act of fool with this. Hey, yeah, I'm an act of fool with this. Yeah, 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 I'm an act of fool with this. an even first half all tied on the scoreboard fielded a couple yards into the end zone and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 23 yard line here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall you like what your game plan showing you. Mahomes now on first down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. 
Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. For Kansas City. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. throw on third and one and going deep for Hill and that's caught inside the 35 and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion that's one heck of a third down conversion a pickup of 39 this play started with the protection you have to have it to give your quarterback time to let routes develop downfield and then it's on him to locate an open man and he does just that play callers love four vertical routes because receivers can be open at any time downfield, often for big gains. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Mahomes firing complete, and he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball, because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Working from the gun, Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Harrison so out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a three nothing lead. Chiefs 20, Ravens 17. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. 
other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Jackson from the shotgun. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Jackson's pass. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a gain of seven. Makes it third and seven. From the gun, it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Sam Cook now, as he's on to punt for Baltimore. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. And out come the Chiefs now. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? Touchdowns. The last two guys on the cover of Madden going toe-to-toe -to -toe here, and a great one brewing in the third. Everything we'd expect from Mahomes and Jackson, two of the best young stars in the game. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Mahomes going to throw. And he almost had it defensively. Mahomes could have been a game-changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Mahomes now to throw. And going deep for Hill. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 68 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off.
Butker on for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Harrison now Butker. after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Their own 25-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. And that's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there at a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. But I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun. Jackson binds, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's Dobbins. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Jackson. He gets this underneath to Dobbins, and he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45, a gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Rock the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. 
and their own That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. Complete two Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Here's the Chiefs punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Push the foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Are you serious, though? Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into it. Not a good play at all. Lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Now here's Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. the quarterback keep it here on first and ten and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten i know the speed is the hallmark of today's nfl game but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Yellow. 
So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now Edwards Alaire. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Edwards Alaire, the ball Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And they run the option on second down. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do, and right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. A screen to Bell. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Butker's kick here is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. Chiefs 30, Ravens 17. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll look to throw right away. Man open left side is Brown. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Jackson's going to look to run it. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, 
I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Behind the chain, second and 13. Operating from the gun, Jackson. A throw over the middle, caught by Bryant. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 45-yard line. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we see both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. Jackson throwing on target to Brown. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. Jack catch good for only a couple. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And Jackson throwing once more. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Steps away to his left. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. First and goal with Lamar Jackson leading the charge, the 23-year-old quarterback. And if they find the end zone here, they'll reach that number 23 on the scoreboard. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second down and goal, Jackson. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Jackson's pass. No yardage to speak up whatsoever. Leads to a third down. I know that play went for no yardage, right? but I like the attempt because the fullback position, whether it's a fullback, a tight end, an H-back, wherever you want in that spot, not known as a primary pass catcher, so sometimes the element of surprise works in your favor, but on that play, give credit to the defensive guys. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. I liked his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down.
Okay, so thought they might go for it here. Down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that gets them back within 10. Chiefs 30, Ravens 20. Dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. Twelve plays and you only get three points out of it? Not quite the ending they were looking for. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He's back to throw here to start the drive. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Seven-yard pickup. Another Brings nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. To throw again on second down. Mahomes, complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first down, Mahomes. Oh, no, he lost the football. Yannick Ngakwe. Lamar Jackson sack. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. It's fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away.
And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line of beauty. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs at a first down. Man, Lamar Jackson, and we all know it, but he is just so elusive with the football. I don't care how many times you go through tackling drills at practice and how many different situations you put guys in in practice. It's not the same as trying to get Lamar Jackson on the ground. He forced 42 missed tackles last year. That's twice as many as any other quarterback in the NFL. To your point, very difficult to get him down. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Throwing is Jackson. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. A good play on the ball, getting a hand on it, but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete. And that leads to way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense. And this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play. Tip it up in the air, grab it yourself, take it the other way. But sometimes that can backfire. How do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight real play that could backfire? You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now Jackson on first down. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Because I deserve that. It's time to learn it. Mess around and put that thing over your permit. Six figures every year, yeah, earn it. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 38. From the gun, Jackson. Brought in left side by Snead. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. And the coach has decided to throw the red flag. He will challenge this play. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Four yards, the pickup, first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. 
Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing round. Jackson's a gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. To throw again is Jackson. This will be caught just inside the 10. Marquis. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll run with Dobbins. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets them down to about the four-yard line. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. On second and goal, here's the option. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker now to add the point after. The extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. carries into the end zone and he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. KC's offense ready to take over and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Open man is Hill, he's got it. Seven yards, the pick up there. To Tyreek Hill. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now an option play on second down. 
And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Ten more there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Mahomes now on first down. Caught out left side by Robinson. Seven oh, yards, man. the pickup on the pitch and catch. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bell. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game ceiling. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Butker now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And he returns this to the 22. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. So Lamar Jackson in the offense, down by 10, a minute 55 remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery, but first things first, first and 10. Jackson to throw. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. It's a gain of five, and it'll be a second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Now Jackson. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. It's worth noting when you talk about Jackson's running ability, the Baltimore wide receivers had just over 1,400 receiving yards combined last year. And Charles, that was the fewest yards by a wide receiver group in the NFL since 2011. And partner, I expect that number to go up this year. Last season, Lamar Jackson got very comfortable with his tight end group. In fact, he had one tight end and went to the Pro Bowl. But I think now, because of his ability to run the ball, it'll bring defenders closer to the line of scrimmage, and you'll see more big plays from the wide receivers downfield. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Seven yards, the pick up there. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. From midfield now, here's Jackson. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Hey, man, let's play our game. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Throwing now is Jackson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Jackson. It's a gain of six on the play, and it's a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Second down at four. Jackson will throw again. Going to throw right side here, complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Again, Jackson. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there, but it'll be second and goal. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. And Jackson throwing once more. His pass caught at the four. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle last chance. down to a field goal now. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. 34. So with 14 seconds on the clock, they've got to go with the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about right a finish to this one. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they can pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.
from Baltimore. So long, everybody.